today I'm gonna be trying to learn claw for the first time ever. If you've never watched my channel, I am a controller player, but I've been using controller paddles for over three years at this point. So I've gotten pretty decent at Fortnite on controller with paddles. However, I've literally never tried to learn claw. And if you didn't already know, about 90% of Fortnite Pro controller players use some sort of claw. So I figured there's gotta be some sort of benefit in this, so I'm gonna try to learn it in this video. The goal is by the end of the video, I'm gonna be able to 1v1 someone and actually win. So drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. And now I need to pick a winner for my giveaway that I did a couple weeks ago. There ended up being something like 141 entries on the giveaway and I use a randomized generator to pick the winner and that winner ended up being Spade on Instagram. And he has already received the controller just so you guys know it's legit. Stay tuned though because that giveaway was fun so I'm planning on doing some more in the future. Alright now let's hop into playing on some claw. This feels so weird. My current controller grip looks like like this. I'm actually playing double claw, which means that my left index finger is kind of resting on the touchpad and my right index finger is kind of resting on triangle. And over the past like 30 minutes, I did mess with it just a little bit so I wasn't a complete bot when I got into this. But the overall initial feel of claw is really strange. I feel like such a bot. However, claw is obviously pretty good if so many of the top controller players are using it. And I think the reason why claw is so popular is because it basically allows you to to do what people can do with paddles but without paddles it's literally just holding the controller in a different way and that means that you never have to take your thumbs off the thumbsticks which is basically the goal of paddles and claw like that's the main reason for it because if you play with a standard controller grip where your two thumbs are on the analog sticks but you also click all your buttons on your controller with your thumbs that means you typically have to take your thumbs off the analog sticks to do things like editing or building or literally anything and typically it's really hard to get good on standard controller, especially on Fortnite. However, with claw grip and changing around some of the binds, you can actually do these actions like jumping and editing and building and literally everything without ever moving your thumbs off the analog sticks. So the entire time you're in complete control, your thumbs are never off the analog sticks. And apparently when some people first learn to play controller, claw grip is actually the grip that they normally use. So some people have never even used a standard controller grip, they just automatically learn claw to be begin with. If you're one of those players, drop a comment and tell me how or why you started using a claw grip instead of a standard grip like most people would. So that's the kind of reason that people use claw. Now let's check out the settings and binds that I'm actually playing on right now. As of currently, I'm actually using Day's controller settings. And Day plays right claw and he's literally an insane competitive player. So the settings are 1.9 build mode, 1.9 edit mode. For look sense, we have a 43% horizontal and vertical and we have no turning boost on any of the look senses. For the the ADS sense, we're at a nice 9% for both horizontal and vertical. And again, we're not using any of the boost for our ADS sense. Look, damping time is also zero seconds, while look, input curve is linear. And dead zones are at a nice 10%. So I chose to use day settings because he plays claw, but all of his sensitivities are overall lower. And when you're learning something new on controller, especially an entirely new grip, it is pretty important to start off slow. And then if you want to ramp up, then you ramp up from there. So I think that these are going to be some great settings for me to learn. And claw on. In my binds, I started with the base of Miro's binds, but I changed a lot from there. So what I ended up with for my double claw binds is an L3 jump. I use a touchpad edit inspired by Miro, which I actually kind of like. Y is on reload, X is on crouch, B is unbound, A is on pickaxe, and R3 is on switch mode. And I am using a PS4 controller, but I have my stuff set to generic, so that's why it's showing up like this. For build controls, not much changes except for I have right D-pad I change materials and traps. Otherwise, the rest of these are default. Not many people changing of them. For edit controls, all of my edit controls are actually inspired by Mero. With an L1 or an LB reset, an R1 or an RB select, and then an RT or an R2 confirm. So these are actually some pretty interesting and pretty unique to Mero binds. However, I've been using them for about 30 minutes and I'm actually a fan of them. I really like the RB select. However, Mero actually doesn't have confirm edit and release turned on but I do because I think it would be a nightmare to try to learn claw and learn double edit binds at the same time since I don't typically use them. So I took the easy way out and I'm using confirm edit on release. I think it's good anyway. But as you can see, I'm already getting decently used to claw. I mean, I'm definitely not good on it by any means, but for about 30 minutes of claw gameplay, it's definitely not terrible. So I think at this point, what I need to do is go play against some actual players and see if I can do anything or if I choke when it comes down to it. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
And to do that, I'm gonna hop into some realistics. I just did best mains with that guy, but I feel bad because I am not going to be good right now. This definitely makes it a little more difficult because I don't have the time to sit there and like think about it. I literally have to focus so hard right now. Oh, let's go. A little 1v2. Dude, no way I'm doing this well on Claw. This is actually kind of crazy. The gameplay is nothing to be bragging about, but for literally, I've been on Claw for less than an hour at this point, and I'm already 1v2ing people. Like, that's got to count for something, right? Oh, I missed. Oh, let's go. I hit that shot, though. I honestly thought that Claw was gonna throw off, like, my aim a ton. I did not think that I'd still have, like, decent aim. I'm curious, though, for those of you that have made the switch to learn Claw, like, do you guys have any tips for learning Claw? Because it's actually pretty difficult. One thing that I've been struggling a ton with is just resetting builds. I am actually so slow at it. Because I have confirm edit on release turned on, I literally always forget what my confirm button is. So definitely let me know if you guys have any, like, secret tips or something i that is so bad yeah laugh all you want i wasn't lying about not being able to reset okay i got one of them my teammate just died to fall damage Oh, I even got a little wall replace. I literally have never switched my pickaxe so far, and I just did it. My builds, my edits, my shots, they're all looking pretty nice right now. And apparently nice enough to make everyone leave the game. What is that? So now we get to the end of the video. I'm going to try to 1v1 this guy. This guy seems like a sweat, but we're going to try to get one win on this guy. I got a kill already, but he was only like half HP. Oh my god, dude, I even hit him with the peace control. He got out of it, but holy, I'm actually doing so much better than I expected to on these settings. This guy is obviously not that bad, and I'm literally beating him right now. Oh my god. I literally always thought Claw was super hard, so I've never even taken the time to learn it. But it's genuinely not too bad. Oh my, dude, I literally haven't lost in 4-0 against this guy. Dude, the aim. I got height on him. I'm literally concentrating so hard, so I'm not even talking. Oh, that little edit play. Dude, this is actually nuts. I literally just went 5-0 and against this guy. I think... This is the point where I just leave the game and take what I got. I actually can't believe that I'm doing this well on Claw. Once again, please drop in the comments, drop your tips, and let me know if you want to see me continue to try to learn Claw, because that was actually pretty fun. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in a future video.